The purpose of this video is to demonstrate several main blade tracking techniques for RC helicopters, as well as my favorite of those blade tracking techniques. I routinely track my blades at the bench using tools and instruments. I first secure the helicopter to my bench using standard packing tape. Uh, so you apply the tape to the skids and this keeps the helicopter from uh, shifting around and possibly affect my uh, measurements. Like a, basically the helicopter is not going to move. I have used several pitch angled gauges over the years. Uh, these are my favorite three. Uh, both of these are the same. So the RC Logger uh, 2, the Angle Cube, the Wixie. And out of these, uh, the Wixie with the Bluetooth is my very favorite. Before attempting to track the blades, we need to make sure that several previous steps and criteria have been completed and satisfied. The main shaft and spindle shaft need to be straight. All three cyclic servo arms need to be set to 90 degrees to the main shaft at mid-stick. The swash blade should be leveled at mid-stick. And the head block needs to be assembled and tightened along with the anti-rotation arms. Once those previous steps are satisfied, we need to turn on the radio and power on the flyerless unit. Now on the radio, we need to access setup mode and center the swash. In this uh, VVAR control radio, the way this is done, we go to model setup, edit model setup, start editing current setup. You go into this menu here where it says trim values. So either we can either do a single press or a long press. Either way that will uh, center the, uh, the swash on the uh, helicopter. And uh, at this point, if I um, uh, move the collective stick, it will not affect the, uh, the swash at all. So the swash is centered and the servos, the cyclic servos are also centered as well. At this point, it is important that you get to define your blade or blade grip measuring orientation. Uh, for me, I prefer to uh, eyeball the, uh, the head so that it is uh, parallel to the boom and measure on the uh, front blade grip. Uh, but some people prefer to measure on the blade grip uh, from the uh, right. Others uh, prefer to uh, use the aft approach. Uh, here will be uh, a left. But for me, again, I prefer to uh, uh, to use the uh, to orient the uh, blade grip towards the front and just use this blade grip for measuring. That's just what works best for me, but uh, it's, a, it's a dealer's choice on this one. I generally mark one of the blade grips as master. Here, I'm gonna put a little sticker uh, with an M for master, but I generally put like some sort of a red dot on the bottom in an inconspicuous place to mark the blade grip as master. Our goal here is to obtain zero collective pitch on both blade grips. One of the simplest methods is to orient the um, blade grip so they are uh, uh, parallel to the boom, get an appropriate size uh, shaft for the hole in the blade grip, and basically at this point, you pretty much, uh, and it has to be a long shaft, it helps with the eyeballing of the of this shaft against the main shaft and here you basically adjust the uh, blade grip links so that uh, this rod would be parallel uh, in line with the main shaft and this method seems to work very well for many people another method of blade tracking uses the pitch gauge on the actual blades. So basically, uh, you go back again to uh, some uh, zero degree uh, reference. Let's use the top of the motor can to, for uh, ease. Uh, here, you, you turn this guy on. 
um, I'm going to uh, zero it, okay? And in this case, uh, this has like a three second uh, zero delay, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna put this up in uh, here. Uh, it does read negative five, negative uh, 0.4 degrees compared to uh, the zero degrees I, I had earlier. But, uh, you know, there's, I believe this sort of introduces a, a few uh, errors in me measurement. Uh, the first thing is that you have to pretty much eyeball the uh, having the blade uh, be uh, straight with the blade grip, and you do that for both blades. So there, there's a little eyeballing involved there. Uh, the assumption uh, here is that this tool is, uh, in fact, uh, 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 perfectly um, molded uh, so that uh, <laughs> zero degrees on the top of the motor can would uh, be zero degrees here. And of course, there's, a, as you can see, there's some uh, error, uh, introduction of error here. Uh, and then where uh, where you measure along the um, uh, blade uh, can also introduce uh, uh, errors, okay? Do you do it, do you measure at the, at the proximal, you know, uh, one third, a little bit uh, uh, mid blade, towards the end of the blade. Uh, it, this method works. Uh, it, it is just not my preferred method of uh, tracking blades. My favorite method involves using a digital pitch gauge. I tend to use the, uh, mo the top of the motor can as my uh, zero degree uh, reference. Once I am, uh, once I place the digital pitch gauge on the motor can, then I need to uh, zero out the um, uh, the pitch gauge. And as you can see, uh, just the act alone of uh, uh, zeroing the digital pitch gauge introduces a bit of an error. Since this Wixi digital pitch gauge is Bluetooth, I can remotely zero it using the phone app on my phone. Obviously, I can't show you that here in this video because I'm using the phone to take the video, but I can actually zero it remotely without touching the zero button and introducing measuring errors. Now I have to figure out a way to put this digital pitch gauge on this uh, blade grip, but as you can see, I can't do that easily. So what I did is that I uh, 3D uh, printed uh, this uh, blade uh, holder. So this is like the size of the uh, of the blade grip. So I'll introduce that into the blade grip. And the nice thing about it is that it will not shift left or right. And uh, I made a cradle that is uh, the exact uh, size for the uh, for this digital pitch gauge. I'm gonna bring this around again and get this um, lined up with uh, with the boom. And as you can see here, I, I am almost there. I have a, a 0.1 uh, degrees actually positive so I actually need to adjust my uh, uh, length uh, here uh, to um, bring this down to uh, uh, zero okay so in my case I'm just going to uh, turn this just a little bit okay and let's see it's just gonna be a very minor so now it is adjusted to zero degrees Sim similar to the zero degrees that I use as reference uh, on top of the motor can. So at this point, I have the radio uh, set to uh, mid stick in the um, adjust uh, setup mode. I folded the blades so that the, the tips pretty much uh, touch each other. I know my master blade is set to uh, pretty much a, a zero degree uh, pitch. And as I can see here, uh, this is the master blade and I can see that this uh, uh, other blade is not in the same plane. So basically they're not tracking. So now I have to adjust the pitch link so that uh, both blades are actually uh, tracking. 
and I'm going to do that uh, off camera. So here I adjusted this blade so that both blades are tracking on the same plane. As you can see here, you can see both blades are tracking on the same plane and very hard to capture this on camera. But as I rotate these uh, uh, blades around, the, um, the blades uh, continue to um, track along the same uh, uh, line, uh, along all 360 degrees of rotation. So I know that uh, these blades are as tracked as, as can be uh, on the bench. Now I will have to uh, verify this during flight, but uh, I am pretty happy with what I am seeing here and my experience uh, has been that uh, there is uh, little to actually no uh, further uh, adjustments uh, needed to obtain uh, perfect tracking. Thank you for watching.